Hey everybody, I've got something new today. We're gonna to be building a new press and it's gonna be built off of this. This is a uh, hydraulic finger brake that I purchased from somebody recently here. And what he had done is he had, as you can see, used three air over hydraulic motors. Uh, they're each 20 tons to get a 60 ton press. Uh, and he had a problem getting them timed and they're very, very difficult to time this kind of motor due to the nature of the way an air over hydraulic system works is that even if you have equivalent air pressure across all of these devices, the motors themselves can pump different amounts of hydraulic fluid. And because this is a one way motor when the valve is closed, it basically will only press, right? It won't balance anything out among the other three that he never was able to get them really balanced out per what he said. Uh, he usually bent smaller things and he told me quite honestly he almost always used just the central motor and bent in just the center. So while this was built up to be a 60 ton, we're going to upgrade it. And what we're going to do is we're going to make a 100 ton press out of it. So uh, hopefully it lasts. You know, some of the welds are so-so in there. I'll show you some of those when we get in closer. Um, and we'll do a little overview of this before we start doing anything. Uh, but what I want to do is show you the equipment that we've got in order to turn this into our 100 ton press. So we've got our components here and what we've got is two 50 ton hydraulic rams and these are used a lot in the automotive industry for frame straightening and the bridge industry for moving pieces, straightening pieces. Uh, a lot of heavy equipment moving uses this uh, for structural applications. These are going to be the power plant of our new press. So the other part is uh, something to supply hydraulic power to this. Now these have a capacity uh, of 10,000 PSI. Most hydraulic cylinders you find are about 3,000 PSI uh, and that goes along for the pumps. Since the cylinders are generally 3,000 PSI, the pumps are usually not over 3,000 PSI. So I needed a 10,000 PSI pump and that's what we've got here from Vivor. Okay, uh, this is the second pump I've ordered. I'm gonna put some pictures here and I'll overlay of the first pump I ordered. Um, and I ordered it from eBay, no, Amazon, sorry. I ordered it from Amazon. And it honestly came in a cardboard box wrapped with some bubble wrap. Okay, these are about 60 or 70 pounds, I think. Needless to say, it was pretty much destroyed. I had to send it back and argue with the retailer and even quite honestly, threatened to get my credit card company involved for fraud. Uh, at that point, they finally issued me a refund. I uh, did a little bit more research and I found out that Vivor sells these. And one of the things that really uh, impressed me is in watching a lot of the reviews, I did not find a review on this pump, but I did find a review of a lot of the tools from Vivor. And one of the things I noticed is the tools were always arriving in these nice wooden crates. So if I'm going to buy an expensive and heavy tool, this is how it should show up, not in a cardboard box with some bubble wrap around it. Okay. So um, we're going to go ahead and open this up, take a look at the pump here uh, and that little plug for Vivor. I'm going to tag them in here as well. Uh, they're making just about everything these days and their prices beat almost everybody on the market. So um, while, you know, made in China is the way of the world these days, you might as well at least find one of the better distributors for those types of products. So I'm going to go ahead and we're just going to speed this up here for the next piece, but you can watch us open this pump up. Trash later. So quite well packed here, boy. So I'll leave that, take this.
Okay, so that was extremely well packed. I was very impressed. That crate is about a quarter inch thick and it is stapled in uh, all, the, all of its joints and it was reinforced with corner gussets inside in order to uh, give those staples something to bite into. Excellent pack, good job before. Okay, we'll clean that up later. One of the things I did notice online, um, again, these are basically all the same. If you look them up on Amazon or eBay or whatever, you're gonna see a thousand images of nearly the same thing. Uh, one of the things that I did notice with Vivor is A, they give you two hoses, not one. Most everybody else has one hose. And these hoses are very long. I think they're on the order of six or seven feet, maybe longer. So that's a big win right there. So we'll move those aside. Okay, and we've got our pedal. This one particular unit is uh, one direction. And I did that on purpose, and we'll get into that during the build. So when you actuate it, it pumps fluid, and then you can release the fluid. These have return springs built in, as does the press itself. And again, we'll get into more of that during the build phase. But you can get these with a lever if you wanted to use these to raise or lower uh, an automotive lift or some other bi-directional piece of equipment. Okay, so we've got that. Runs off simple 110 power, very easy to do, okay? And of course, your uh, reservoir tank, which you will have to fill, it does not come full of fluid. And I believe that is actually a shipping thing that in order to ship that, there's a hazardous materials fee if it had fluid in it. Oh, and of course, our obligatory warning, this bag is not a toy, okay? This bag is not a toy, avoid dangerous suffocation, keep this bag away from babies and children, do not use in cribs, beds, carriages, or play pens. This bag is not a toy, not bag before throwing away, made in China. I'm shocked that every sentence there made sense. Okay, so we've got our pump, very easy connection ports right here on the pump itself. A connection and a return. Well, it returns through the main line, but you see what I mean. We've got our connection here, nice oil-filled pressure gauge that is firmly attached. Okay, and this is just the solenoid that activates the valve when you're running the pump. And uh, a viewing window to view the oil level. Okay, this one is in excellent shape. The other one I had was smashed. The gauge was smashed, the bottom was smashed. So Vivor did a great job with this. Okay, there's the quick overview. Hope you guys like seeing that. And I, um, so far from a first, you know, first impressions, this is great. It's packed well, it's in good shape. It honestly is visually identical to the other one I had that arrived virtually destroyed. Um, but it seems to be a great product so far. So hopefully it, it performs as well as it looks. So that is the uh, intro to our 100 ton press build. Thanks again for watching.